Hi, I'm Trisha J. Wildrich, and I am a novel friend. A novel friend is the business that I started some time ago to encompass my editing, my writing, being an author, and everything I love about words because words are a bridge between people for communications, a way to build relationships, and as corny as it sounds, to make the world a better place. A poem that I wrote as part of the Blackstone Valley Artists Association Art and Poetry Swap. And for this, we matched up artists and poets, and the artist was in charge of creating a piece of art, or a photograph, the poet was to write a poem. We would do an initial seed piece of art and seed poem, trade, and then we would write a response poem or create a piece of response art. And so all of the poetry and art that I'm sharing this month come from the Blackstone Valley Artists Association Art Poetry Swap in 2017 and 2018. Today's poem was one of the first ones I did in 2017. It is called Unfinished perfect. And I love this poem because there's a lot of feeling behind it. It was initially inspired when my friend and founder of Broad Universe, Broad Universe is an organization that helps, promotes, and celebrates women who write science fiction and fantasy. Phoebe was one of its founders and an important mentor and friend to me. So Phoebe recently had passed away when I wrote this poem and I helped cleaning out her house and she had done so much work and stuff that's not published, plays that never got like shown and and that really struck me and it made me look at the work that I do that may never get shared and as an editor looking at the author's work that I've worked that I've worked on and how sometimes they decide not to get published or don't share it or choose to write for themselves. So these are stories that never get finished that no one else gets to see but i have and those have changed me so that is the story behind this poem unfinished perfect gaudi's la sagrada familia barcelona gaudi died before completing his masterpiece basilica scaffolding obscures the beauty in unfinished lines uncarved faces unmarred stone Nautilus stairs spiral tighter and tighter the higher you climb, squeeze you out before you can finish your Tower of Babel. I could not have met her at a different time, my body now too imperfect to navigate her sharp curves and unsupported sections. Though I was still far from perfect then, I was perfectly prepared to be made more complete by her architect's design. Lesser workers may try to follow the physics of his curve, the cut of his sculpture, the meaning of his blueprints, but they are not the master architect who drew the plans. The truth of the final opus, hidden forever, meant to be seen intact by human eyes, inasmuch as the word it symbolizes is meant to be fully known by human minds. Phoebe's service, air. It hasn't happened yet, so I haven't seen the body laid out in its final rest, and I don't know if it'll be an urn of ash. But I packed away the neatly handwritten drafts of novels not yet ready to be read, put in boxes the outlines and production plans for plays never to be performed, sorted through to-do lists with items still to be done, and caressed the spines of books that may have gone unread. I'll never know, but I knew you. You worked to save the whales, better women's rights, promote the arts for one and all, protect the environment, so much left not done. In Animal Rescue, something we shared, we say, you may not be able to change the world, but you can change the world for one dog, cat, horse, person. 
How many worlds did you change, make better, even with so much work unfinished? Transferring files, Starbucks. My travel computer is dying. The files tucked within need safe passage to their newer home, uncorrupted. In basilicas of zeros and ones live confessions I alone have been allowed to read. Sacred manuscripts of authors, clients, who may go forever unnamed, unremembered, but for how those unfinished, roughly hewn, stories would design my being. In those blessed bits live also my own sins, failures, crayon scribbled nonsense, notes of love and hate. They needed to be written and need never be finished, for their work has been accomplished. Treasures all, dated, filed, saved, in perfect digital reproduction, unfinished, but no less true. That was Unfinished Perfect. I hope you enjoyed the poem. If you liked it, maybe leave a note down in the comments, share with your friends, click subscribe. I look forward to sharing even more poetry with you at A Novel Friend. Thank you.